The news of Sandy's death brought many to tears, but at Sandy's memorial service last September, people encouraged those in pain to use their tears as fuel to continue Sandy's mission. Today, people are honoring her legacy and carrying on her efforts toward a more equitable Spokane. People who knew Sandy Williams knew she wanted the best for her community. She was very dedicated to changing the trajectory of black folks in this community. And how do you do that? You do that providing resources with education, um, understanding the culture. She founded Spokane's first black newspaper and spearheaded the development of the Carl Maxey Center as the executive director. Her vision is just extraordinary. These are some of the reasons why her death one year ago left such a hole in Spokane. Even today, her friend Dr. Sherry Williams Clark says her shoes are impossible to fill. She really touched people, and it was in such a real, original way. I don't think that will ever happen again here, because it was with Sandy. While there may never be another Sandy Williams, her friends are making sure her vision lives on. Williams-Clark is making it a part of her personal mission to continue Sandy's legacy. Coming in as executive director is just a real honor for me. I am um, working in purpose, and this is my passion. She says becoming the Carl Maxey Center executive director connects her to Sandy in a new way. I'm coming into her space every single day, and I'm so honored to be here. I really am. She says the center will continue to provide a safe, cultural, and equal space for black people, all in the name of Sandy Williams. I'm just hoping to carry on and to build programs and have resources and services that reflect what her vision was. Sandy is memorialized in the Sandy Williams Justice Center, which offers free walk-in legal clinics at the Carl Maxey Center. A Numerica Credit Union scholarship at Eastern Washington and an Inovia $60,000 endowment fund also hold her name. Sandy Williams would have been 62 next Wednesday. In the studio, Janelle Finch, Crypto News.